Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoovalux. Welcome, bienvenido, groceries, salam alaikum, nai ho, welcome, nai hi, welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be looking at this machine. Now before I go ahead and we take a look at this machine, I'm just getting over a cold, thankfully, lovely, great, wonderful. Uh, come all this way and then catch a cold on the airplane on our way here. Symptoms started to show up uh, towards the end of last week and yesterday Yesterday we didn't do anything yesterday did we? I don't think it was. No, yesterday we didn't go anywhere The day before we did, the day before that we didn't because it was just too ill So I sound a bit rough in the old throat because it's a bit chesty, a bit coughing But I feel a lot better and if you're wondering what these white marks are all over me, it's because I have been eaten alive by mosquitoes because I forgot to reapply my mozzie spray for one night and I was sitting out in the porch. I'd put it on during the day, not a problem. Then in the evening, I sat outside in the porch and I thought, now nah, I'll be all right because I've already put it on and I should have reapplied some more anti mozzie spray and they made a meal of my elbow my wrist, my finger, uh, because that's where I didn't put any more on. So I'm covered in sort of like a mosquito bite cream, and it looks like, yeah, that look, makes me look even pastier than I am already. Anyway, besides all of that, I hope you've been enjoying the vlogs that I've put out and the Hoover convertible. So the next one we're gonna be looking at is a more modern one. This is the one that mum actually uses in the house at the moment. This is a Piranha. It's a 2000 watt machine. It's a bagless machine. Bin comes off like so. There's a little sponge there, which is already dirty. There is a filter underneath, which is a HEPA filter. There is some carbon dust on it, but nothing else. It's not too bad. The inside of it has got lots of carbon dust on it, which we will clean up. The back of it here, there is a release valve. There is a cord release. That doesn't seem to want to come off, but anyway, it doesn't matter because the bottom cord release is already broken. I don't know what that button is for. But the bottom cord release is already broken off. This comes out like so and hooks off here. Um, it's not a very flexible hose, but it does stretch quite far. It's not too bad, I've seen worse. Uh, then I think if you release the handle, like so you can then attach the wand i thought you could attach the wand to the end of this oh yeah you can you can attach the wand to the end of this there's no extension tube on it there's no tools with it that i can see goodness knows where the tools are and then you can use it then as a handheld mode i will say that the grip on it with the handle the knuckle protector is pretty good <laughs> That is, uh, that is quite nice, but that's about the only thing to it. So, this one is a Piranha Dual Motor Vacuum Cleaner. Model number UC2001-1. 220 to 240 volts, 2000 watts max. And made in China. What a surprise. So, I, I really don't like this machine. I think it is very, very cheap and nasty. Um... If we take a look at the underneath of it, we do have quite a wide brush roll on it. Bristles on it are quite stiff. Wheels at the front, little wheels like on a Dyson. And we have wheels at the back. Now mum says that she is, so this has got a motorized floor head on it, which is separate to that. So I'm not sure. Let's have a look and see if you can actually switch it off independently. So the first thing I'm going to do is switch this beast on. And we'll have a look. So let me undo the cord. It's about a nine, eight meter cord on, it's not too bad. 
<coughs> okay, let's switch it on. On and off buttons on the top. <laughs> A bit of a screamer. Now, let me check the underneath. The brush roll on it is not working very well at all. It is moving all over the place. It sounds absolutely terrible. switch it on and off with the power when it's in upright mode the brush roll is off when you put it down you can turn this other button which will then turn the brush roll on or off for you to do hard floors or carpets so you can adjust it that way but this looks like it is vacuumed up I don't know what it is absolutely filthy on the inside so that's all I'm going to do to this is just give it a quick clean up and recommend mum get another machine because the brush roll on it is knackered you never get parts for this it's not even worth repairing it wasn't even that expensive so that's all I'm going to do the inside of it here the filter is absolutely full of dust the shroud is almost clogged Right, okay, let me bring you guys closer and we'll have a look at it. Okay, so you guys are a little bit closer. Let me take off this hose. So we're just left with the machine. Right, let's give it a bit of a clean up. If I twist the top, the top will come off. That is the other filter, which is completely blocked. As you can see, on the shroud is covered as well.
Right, okay. So I've cleaned the dust off the filters. I just need to give it a wipe over now. So I've got my bucket here. Yeah. Let me get some cloths. So the weather at the moment in Australia is very nice. It has been late teens to 27. Most days we've been here, so the temperature is really nice. I hope you've enjoyed the vlogs. They were fun to do while we were going out places. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is to wipe this. Which is the top part of the dust bin. This is the cover for the filter, which goes there. So this is the post motor filter. This is the shroud, which goes inside. I'm just going to give this a wipe over as well because it's a bit dusty around the seals. And the inside of the shroud as well. As you can see, it definitely needed a wipe over. I'm not going to touch the bin. Now, uh, the one thing I did notice here in Australia is they don't have power restrictions on vacuums like they do in Europe. So you can still get these powerful 2000 watt machines, which are quite unnecessary. So let me just rinse out my cloths. Happy Lex's birthday today. So we went up to the strawberry farm, which is near to the house. And it's a, it's a big farm. Obviously it's called the strawberry farm. So there's obviously the strawberries and other fruits as well that they grow and sell. And they have a cafe in there, restaurant. And that's where he wanted to go for his birthday lunch. So that's where we went. And this evening we have currently got on the barbecue Roasting in the barbecue, we have a nice big leg of pork, a nice big leg of porky pig. So I'm just taking off carbon dust inside. There's an excessive amount of carbon dust. And I'm just going to give the body a quick wipe over. Now, I love my mother-in-law. But she is terrible at maintaining vacuum cleaners. There's a whole little display of vacuum cleaners over there that you'll see at, during the course of these videos that herself and somebody else broke. But I don't think we're going to get much luck with this because the issue seems to be with the motor in the in the floor head, but we will give it a wipe over anyway. I'll use that to wipe the table after. Right. Okay. Let's put this thing back together. Let's pop in the. That seems to line up. I think. So we got the sponge. These are both pair of filters. So that goes in there. That goes in there locked. 
that goes on the top of there. And then that goes in there, so that's the cyclone. Done. Definitely looks a lot better. Says your filtration system, bagless design, dust rubbish container, dual motor, piranha. I've never heard of piranha before. Now these might be branded in other countries under other names but look the same, which seems to be the case with most of these machines. The handle goes on the top and clicks in. go. Then the hose goes onto the front there as you can see. No it doesn't. It goes into here. That comes off the handle. Not very easily. Come on. Hang on. I'm having difficulties here a second. Bear with me. Let's release this. That's not very good design, so I'm really stuck. There we go. That does not come off easy. that goes over the holder there and then that clips into there like so okay right okay there's some dirt already on the floor let's give it a quick demo there is a cord hook holder there right let me reposition the camera. Okay, I've now moved you over the carpet. Let's have a go. has picked up to some degree the carpet definitely looks better than before I started let's have a look at the table so if I remove the bin and you can see inside the bin everything sticks to the shroud so everything's stuck on the way in and then the bottom has collected up all the grit and gravel that's brought in off your feet. But the rest of the fluff is all stuck up the top, which is a load of old rubbish. Okay, let's clean this out.
Okay, so I can categorically say that this vacuum cleaner truly is a load of old rubbish. All the dirt and dust got stuck straight to the sponge. Inside here, all the dirt and dust particles got trapped inside there and everything just went around the shroud. There's no cyclonic action on this at all. It is absolutely rubbish. Now, I'm gonna lock that up. So there we go. Let's try it one more time. Excuse me. See, the dirt has already started to collect around the outside very quickly. Right, okay. Let's get this rubbish back on the bench and let's finish off the video. So here we have it. This is the 2000 watt piranha. Um, which it really is terrible. It really is a terrible, terrible, nasty, cheap machine that doesn't deserve a place in the house, in my opinion, because it's just rubbish. I can't even wind the cable on because the hook's broken. So I'm just gonna have to fake it around this side. Never seen one of these machines, never want to see one again. Uh, the brush roll on it is broken, so mum and dad will have to get a new machine. So when I go to Godfrey's, I'll have a look for a machine. Again, it's going to be another cheap machine because um, these machines don't seem to last very long. So unfortunately, this is for the knacker's yard. But anyway, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this very quick look at this 2000 watt Chinese made Piranha. I'm gonna wipe the wrap off the table. There we go. Put them in the wash. Okay, so there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Just a quick look, quick clean up, and a quick demonstration of this machine. Please comment, like, and subscribe below for more videos. If you'd like to receive notifications, hit the bell icon, and then you'll be um, notified then of when I got a new video uploading. So please enjoy and take care and I'll see you all in the next episode. And hopefully I'll feel a little bit better. Bye y'all.